with over 100 steam locomotives preserved in Great Britain, it would be fair to say that we have quite enough to keep all of the preservationists as I'm going. However, some classes were not as good as others. Some engines were either put in for preservation, or else scrapped by mistake, or simply all members of class scrapped and altogether forgotten about, swept up in the onslaught of dieselization. From large express engines to underrated heavy freight locomotives, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 extinct British steam locomotives. Number 10. The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway E2 Class 060s. These locomotives may be quite familiar to you because Thomas the Tank Engine was based off of this class. Either way, 10 E2 class locomotives were built between 1913 and 1916 and all were built by the London, by the London Brighton and South Coast Railway. These locomotives were built for work to the docks to work as helpers for Southampton. But they even got replaced with the USA dock tanks and were outclassed by them. Since they had a shorter wheelbase, more power, Walshart's valve gear and have more space in the cab. Unfortunately, none of the E2s survive into preservation. None of them did. Well, at least there's Thomas the Tank to keep the class alive and to see how successful the E2s were in the past. Number 9. The London Midland and Scottish Patriots, designed by Sir Henry Fowler. Between 1930 and 1934, 52 Patriots were built at Derby Works and Crew Works. 40 of the Patriots, number 5502 to 5541, took the road numbers up to the Clotons, which were also a class of 460s. But of the 52, they were numbered 5500. So it's 5500 to 5551, or 45500 or 45551, as the BR versions of them. The Patriots chassis were based on the 6100 class 460s, or the 46100 class 460s in BR, known as the Royal Scots. But they were the same boiler, not the firebox, or not the smoke box but just the boiler were similar to the clot tins and others for this the patriots could even be nicknamed baby scots but 18 patriots were rebuilt between 1946 and 1949 making them look like black fives but they were stronger than the black fives Sadly, none of them survived today. They were all withdrawn by the end of 1965. But, however, number 5551, named the Unknown Warrior, is soon going to be back on track. And the Patriots will not be extinct for very long anymore. Wait a minute. Make your mind up with the paint job. One side in LMS red and the other being green. I mean, LMS red at one side and the other British Railways green. That is silly! Number 8. The London, Midland and Scottish Turbomotive. This slightly funny looking thing has a very interesting history behind it. It was designed by William Stanier. Before this one was built, there were first two Princess Royal class locomotives 
designed by William Stanier in 1933. The first two were numbers 6200 or 46200 named Princess Royal and 6201 or 46201 Princess Elizabeth. Two years later, in 1935, another 10 members of the class were made, numbers 6203 or 46203 to 6212 or 46212. And then the others, 6213 or 46213 to 6219 or 46219. They were all the Princess Royals. And then 6220 or 46220 to 6257 or 46257 were known as Princess Coronations. They were even bigger and more survive than the Princess Royals. And even two times more coronations were made than the Princess Royals. 19 Princess Royals and 38 coronations. But there was a f third prototype machine, which was of course number 6202, called the Turbomotive. And of course, this is number 6202, the Turbomotive, and was one of the most successful turbine locomotive ever built, or one of them. But then, in 1952, Sir William Stanier decided to, uh, decided to turn the 6202 into a more conventional locomotive. And changed it into number four, from number 6202 to number 46202, and named it Princess Anne. However, this one did not become a Princess Royal, but became a Princess Coronation. So that makes 39 coronations. The reason for that? The cylinder block was a leftover from a Coronation Pacific. But then unfortunately, believe me, you don't want to see this. Just two months into its new career after its rebirth, the 6202 was destroyed in a horrible accident. The Liverpool and Manchester Express in a rail crash. A bonkers rail disaster that involved... Three trains. 112 people were killed. And 340 people were injured in it. So around 452 people were injured. Or killed. But then. Then after that it was taken to crew works. And they found out it was impossible for them to fix it. So they had no choice other than to send it to the scrapyard. And then, later, in 1954, some of its parts were used for the one-up, the one and only Standard Class 8 Pacific, number 71,000, the Duke of Gloucester. Number 7. The London and North Eastern Railway Hush Hush. This really, really fat looking thing has a very interesting history. In 1924, Sir Nigel Gresley approached Harold Yarrow. So in 1924, Sir Nigel Gresley approached Harold Yarrow from Glasgow. And he asked the person, Harold Yarrow, if he could design a really big looking locomotive. And that was another one up. This one, W1 class, number 10,000, built in 1929. The only 464 Hudson locomotive that was built in Britain. This picture right here shows a picture of the 10,000's actual boiler, which had a working pressure of 450 pounds per square inch. That's definitely high pressure steam. And it shows that it was built with a water tube boiler, instead of a more conventional fire tube boiler. 
so he made it look different when it was being made in 1929. And this diagram right here shows how it was actually created, but it's just more of them to show off how it works. And when this locomotive was built, the Hush Hush was supposed to be a secret project, and that's the way how it was nicknamed, the Hush Hush. But it also got the nickname Galloping Sausage. But then it became more successful, and then it became a Hudson version, changed into a Hudson version of Gresley's real A4 Pacifics. These locomotives were iconic, and six still around today. Sometime later, it was turned into Northeastern 700, and then became British Railways number of 60,700, or 60700, or whatever. The A4 Hudson was retired from BR's books, in June of 1959, and scrapped later that year. The only thing that survives of the real Hush Hush is its British Railways front number plate. Number 6 The London and North Eastern P2s Between 1934 and 1936, only 6 of these engines were built. With such a short lineup, I can even mention all the road numbers and the names. So number 2001, Cock of the North. Number 2002, Earl Marshall. Number 2003, Lord President. Number 2004, Mams Meg. Number 2005, Fane of Fire. And number 2006, Wilf of all were given names of the Scottish law. Even Hornby are making loads of different versions of number 2001, Cock of the North. But they should even make versions of the others like Errol Marshall, Lord President, Mams Meg, Fane of Fire and Wolf of Bidamatch. But one at a time. But then, ten years after they got built, they were changed into something strange like this and became 282s into 462s. They were first to North Easterns, numbers 501, 502, 503, 504, 505 and 506. And then became British Railways, number 60501, 60502, 60503, 60504. 60505 and 60506 and that was all changed by Gresley's disliked successor Edward Thompson <laughs> and got transformed from P2s to A1s and A2s it's hideous just look at it thanks sickos even, Edward Thompson even decided to push all the three cylinders back from where it usually was in the first place where Gresley put them. Oh, and it's good of the GWR, Star, Castle and Kings, and of the LMS Princess Royals. But this is hideous! And of the P2 company, they're even trying to create a new one for a museum. Number 2007, Prince of Wales made by who this is made by the same people who made Tornado which was completed in 2008 it wasn't for British Railways in the long past of course we know about that hey everyone sorry to interrupt halfway through but I decided to cut this top 10 into two halves with five examples each so this is part one of course and part two will be ready in a week. Promise. And I'll see you guys real soon.